Shun Xiao Yu from Northwest a &F University in China will make the next presentation, effect of plastic film mulching and nitrogen on nitrous oxide emission in dry land maize. Uh, okay, uh, thanks Chairman. Uh, good morning everyone. Today, uh, my work is about the effect, effect of plastic film mulching and the nitrogen on N2O emissions in dry land maize. So my uh, it's, it's included in four, uh, four parts. So for first, uh, in China, uh, the uh, in China the area uh, the, uh, the the arid area is, is about uh, uh, seventeen percent, and mostly is in the northwest. And uh, recent uh, recent years, the marching practice now is becoming a common practice for the farmers to increase the yield in the rainfield uh, in the rainfield agriculture you can see the picture that shows the farmers they use the plexing uh, field matching so uh, uh, the, the if, uh, how about the, the effect of the matching practice we can see uh, for our work uh, before for the uh, uh, matching can increase the co uh, community soil temperature 40 to 80 uh, degrees in, and they increase the soil water storage, and the, this results in the early MDC and the earlier seeking and the longer durations of the uh, reproductive uh, reproductive stage. So this can increase the yield. So and uh, uh, how about uh, the matching practice effect on the N2O N2O emissions? So uh, we are now for the global N2O emissions. Uh, from the agriculture, uh, from agro from the agriculture, is about uh, 16 percent, and uh, uh, with the increase of populations and uh, the demand of the more food productions, the N2O emissions will also uh, increase. So, what's the in uh, what's the environment factors of the N2O? Is is increases about the soil moisture, soil temperature, and available nitrogen and uh, and uh, the uh, microbiologies. So. What's the effect about the uh, matching practice on to on into O? So for this work, our hypothesis is is that for the into O emissions, it's driven by the soil temperature and the water content. Thus, the into O emission may be increased in the in the field matched field because the matching practice generally improves the soil temperature and the moisture. And on the other hand, the yield increase resulting from matching a matching drought, uh, drought upon plant nitrogen uptake resulting in a reduction in soil mineral nitrogen content, which mostly likely limits the N2O emission productions. So how these two sides, uh, the trade of uh, how to balance these two sides. So for our work, we designed a, a, few, a few experiments, including eight treatments. It includes the four nitrogen levels from zero to 400 Kilogram nitrogen per hectare, and including the uh, plexing film matching and the non matching. So, first, I will show you the first result of the N2O emission rate. Uh, so, we can see that uh, the, N2O emission, the N2O emission both uh, rate, both at the plexing film matching and the non matching treatment, is increased uh, with the nitrogen rate increasing. And uh, And uh, but at the different uh, growth stage, the into the peak of the emissions rate was different. We can see that from the uh, uh, from the uh, ten, ten year stage before, the peak of the emission is was higher in the in the at the field matching practice, while at the ten year stage to the R uh, R six stage, the peak value was higher for the. Uh, uh, for the no, uh, normal machine practice. So the next is about the community into uh, emissions. So the result is that the com uh, community into uh, emissions, both at the uh, FM and the BP treatment, is increased with the nitrogen rate increasing. The field matching didn't increase the, to the totally community into uh, emissions. 
uh, both is about around at uh, 0 0.8 to 0 0.7, uh, 0 0.7 to 0 0.8 kilogram nitrogen per hectare. But the risk of the N2O emissions at a different stage was different. It's, it was affected by the matching. We can see that uh, the, 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 the fuel matching increased the ratio during the uh, uh, 10 year stage is ranging from uh, uh, 60, six, uh, 36 to 51 percent, and the normal treatment increased the ratios uh, during the uh, 10 year to R6 stage. So, what's the reason for this? The reason is that the first, the for the soil, uh, for, for the water curtain, for the 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 matching practice, it can increase the WFPS. 30 to 20 percent during the uh, before the 10 year stage, and uh, for and also for the soil temperatures, the mean soil temperatures is can increase the one to two degrees the average for the uh, field matching practice during the before the 10 year stage. And uh, we also uh, we also uh, calculate uh, we also get the the yield of the uh, at the different uh, matching practice, and we also ca uh, calculated the uh, green warming conditions uh, for the treatments, and also the yield scaled uh, global uh, global uh, global warming condition is also called the G, the greenhouse gas intensive. Intensive. We can see in the pictures that the uh, film the the film matching practice is uh, can increase to the mid the mid yield, and. Both the uh, green warming condition and the greenhouse gas intensity, uh, intensity increase as the nitrogen ap application rate. And uh, uh, due to the uh, film margin increase increase the yield, so the yield scaled, the yield scaled uh, green warming condition, it means to protect the one ton amid uh, green yield, the, uh, glo uh, the global warming condition is was uh, reduced in the plex film margin so, uh, uh, for the uh, for the uh, for the summary, the first is that, that the flexible field matching can markedly improve the soil temperatures and the moisture, which significantly increases the mid yield and the natural uptake, but it doesn't increase the cumulative N2O emissions. Second is that the rate of the N2O emission at the different growth stage was affected by the matching. For the plexi film matching treatment, the N2O emission mainly uh, concentrated in the uh, uh, before the 10 year stage, but in the uh, but for the non matching practice, it mainly, it mainly uh, concentrated in the 10 year to R6 stage, and the yield scale the global warming condition was markedly reduced in the plexi film matching uh, matching maze. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Thank you. We have time for a question. <laughs> Neil Turner, University of Western Australia, um, and I do work on the Lewis Plateau. Um, I'm I was interested in knowing how much of the soil surface was covered by the plastic, because in uh, I thought the recommendation now was 100% covered by plastic, and I would have thought if you're actually reducing water loss and conserving water, you would also be preventing uh, the fluxes of nitrogen. So could you just uh, explain uh, how much the land surface was covered? Uh, in our experiment, the, the plastic, they just uh, uh, covered the uh, field. Uh, the whole cover of the, the field, so the, the hundred percent. So, the, where is the N two escaping from the soil? Uh, because so, you know, uh, for the uh, the it's, uh, for the for the maze, it can uh, uh, can dis destroy the plex the film the film because the N two ah. can also can come out. Okay, and that would perhaps explain why the timing of the losses are different uh, between the mulch and non-mulch. Yeah. 
Okay, thank you. Uh, just a question from me. How did you measure the N2O? Was it a was it, um, very intense measurement of the N2O? What methodology? Uh, normally, uh, normally it's about uh, uh, twice per week, but uh, if, if we, uh, but, but after the fertilization of the other uh, presentations, we measured it uh, every, uh, every day for, 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 for continue for, for, for five days. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you.